Where do I begin? Where do I even begin? So today we're going to be reviewing third in form the Asian man Kagawa. So let's begin. Um, let's begin with his advantages actually because let me tell you from now they're not many. Okay, so his card stats look unreal guys. His in-game stats, holy fucking shit. They look unreal. But, but don't get fooled by his card stats or his in-game stats because they are fake. Now let's begin with why. His dribbling is so high, his acceleration and his sprint speed are pretty low. It's not 90 or whatever fucking in-game stats it's showing. It's actually around 85 pace, I think, max. He's actually pretty damn slow for a guy that is... How much does he have sprint speed? I think 97 or some sh I don't know. But the problem is with him. His dribbling is so good, guys. His dribbling, I'm telling you, he's so good that his acceleration and sprint speed are pretty down. That that takes a downside and it's pretty disappointing to see him pretty slow. His shot power is actually weak. It's not even strong. His long shots, give or take, you'll, you'll be pretty lucky to score long shots with him because I've been trying to score long shots and what you see in the video is I don't know, I've tried scoring like out of 20 long shots, you will score 2. That's how bad his long shots are, or his shot power, because most of the time they're never on target. And his finishing is actually a pretty damn awesome, guys. Let me tell you, his finishing is really good. His free kicks, I didn't have, um, I didn't get any free kicks with him, so I can't really rate him on that. But I, like I told you, his um, long shots, shot power, and acceleration sprint speed if you're buying him for that uh, I wouldn't do it because it's actually not as it says in in-game stats or card so what is he good at he's good at dribbling the ball he's really good at that he's he's really good at getting out of tight spaces he's very good surprisingly at intercepting the ball I don't know how but he's actually really good at intercepting the ball he's um, if a player has it if some player that uh, steals the ball off him he's he recovers very quickly to get the ball back off and um it's just i'm so disappointed with him because his card stats look so unreal but it, you, when you play with him they're nowhere near that no fucking way are they anywhere near that so what else is he good at his curve is really damn good this player has one of the best finesse shots in ultimate team i've tried his finesse shot, like, I've tried nearly out of all his finesse shots, 9 out of 10, he would score it. He's He's got some really powerful finesse shots. But other than that, guys, I wouldn't really go for him unless you need, um, you know, a pretty good... If if you want to try him as a striker, it wouldn't work because he's, he's not, he doesn't fit the striker role. Maybe a center attacking midfielder or a center forward role is the best for him you could even put him at center midfield he'll be actually he'll actually make a really good center midfield but other than that i wouldn't really i wouldn't really recommend him to be honest with you guys that is pretty much it for third inform kagawa let me know your thoughts of him if you've tried him in the comment section below and who you want me to review next hope you guys enjoyed this video and as usual i hope you have a very nice day